The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Corn. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? You're a sad piece of work. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait. Are we going... This is... This is... I guess we should be... Wait, is that October 20, 2013? When does it start? I guess we start here. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy! If words could... <laughs> If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy, all caps. A unique and famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed, all caps. I didn't think I would be so excited, since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. Sorry, this is awful. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was good. No, I, I should, I should, I should, I should drop the accent because I'm not an eighteen-year-old girl. <laughs> I thought I was going to say, "Sorry, thanks for playing." It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance, and when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed! My mom cried and my dad laughed. They were so weird! <laughs> God, what the fuck am I doing? But they're happy, and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes, and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself, in caps, I am going to Blackwell Academy! Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna read all of this. <laughs> Super cool, no space. This is how, yeah, this is how crazy people who spell crazy with a K talk. Oh my god, Blackwell, Black, oh god, this is turning into a... a Borderline offensive accent, I think. I've got to, I've got to try and keep the um, the eighteen-year-old uh, schoolgirl thing. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn, the day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate Brooke Taylor Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled, I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra, extra crispy sensitive. What? But I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ah. Uh. 